Hey guys, Reagan here for Reagan's Rides and I am now here in the VW T-Cross Media Drive with a very special guest and in this video, we are going to talk to you about why the VW T-Cross is an ideal vehicle for the mobile millennial out there. Let's do this. Alright guys, so as you can see, I am not driving the VW T-Cross because we have behind the wheel the current reigning Toyota Vios Cup Autocross Champion who's driving. This is Pablo. Hello everybody, hello. And uh, Pablo is with Yuga Tech and Yuga Auto. So bro, before we begin, invite them to subscribe to your channel. Yes, uh, so thanks Reagan for the introduction. Uh, yeah, just like Reagan said, uh, please do, if you have the time, subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's Yuga Tech and Yuga Auto. And you can also follow us on uh, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So yeah. Awesome, awesome. Uh, guys, uh, there's, here's one trivia that you don't know. Uh, Pablo and I are actually schoolmates. Yeah. Yeah, but we're like, um, I think a decade or more apart. I think a decade. <laughs> maybe, maybe yeah. a decade. Yeah, we went to the same high school together, but uh, not together together because like he's way, way younger than I am. I am a certified Tito of Manila. Pablo here is a certified millennial. Yes. Yes, and that's the reason why Pablo is driving the VW T-Cross right now because this subcompact crossover is uh, it's practically the ideal vehicle for most uh, mobile millennials right yeah i would think that it would be because i mean just well let's just highlight first the way it looks that's the first thing there you go it's very quirky and like you said a while ago like it has a lot of personality right? yes i mean interior palang eh. like it ha you have so much color going on and uh, yeah uh, there's a lot of angles and shapes and all of that so i think Regardless if you're a millennial car person or a millennial millennial, you'd enjoy the way it looks. Yes, right? yeah, no, yeah. Nobody would accuse the this car, uh, is, especially the interior, of being boring. No, it's not, it's not a boring car. It's not a boring car to look at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it actually looks great. It looks fantastic. It does. Yeah. When you see it on the road, you're immediately like, "What's that?" Exactly. Right? You always think like, "Oh, what's that?" What's yeah. that car I see? There? Yeah. So obviously, it's a T cross. So it looks really good on the outside and in the inside. And you know, that's actually one of the things that a lot of uh, people, when buying a car, would uh, put top priority at. Yeah. How, how nice it yes, looks. Yes, that's true. People yeah. my age. I'm sorry, but yeah, yeah. people my age. People your age. Yeah. yeah, his age. His <laughs> age. We, yeah. we kind of look like we're the same, same age. age. Yeah, but it doesn't yeah. mean he looks older. It means that I look younger. Ah, <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> okay. All right. So, yeah, so that's the first one that looks. It really looks great. Uh, it's It really stands out in the sea of crossovers. Yeah. Uh, now, the second, uh, second reason why it's an ideal car for me millennials is I think it would be the size of the car I mean yeah yeah, yeah. the I mean, space like like you mentioned earlier like specifically active lifestyle millennials yeah and there are a lot of, especially since the pandemic a lot of people bike now and yes. jog or take their pets wherever the bus yes. so space has become a very big priority yeah, and this uh, this subcompact crossover, despite the small footprint, it has a pretty good amount of cargo and uh, backseat space. Yeah, I know somebody who was able to fit three bikes here. Three bikes? Three bikes with the seats full. Well, the rear seats. The rear seats folded. Yeah. yeah, but dude, Whoa. three bikes. Three bikes! <laughs> right? That's, that's incredible. <laughs> wow, that is incredible. Uh, I couldn't... Like, okay, if you fold the rear seats, that means you have three bikes, but you only have two Passenger, passenger yeah. seat, so but still, yeah, right? but I mean, yeah. it's still pretty amazing. That is quite know. amazing, yeah. So, yeah, you got really handsome, good looks. You've got, yeah, the cargo space, you got the passenger space, and uh, what about the, the connectivity, dude? Ah, well, yeah, that I think I it's good that you highlighted that last because I think that has to be the most important one. I mean. It's good that there are cars like the T-Cross that are keeping up with the advancements in technology. Yes. So as complicated as our phones and our gadgets are becoming, 
thankfully cars are keeping up so yes. you have you know apple carplay and bluetooth and all of the important yeah uh, it has apple carplay features. yeah and most millennials are well, most of them are most of you guys well, we'd all love to be using apple, apple, products, apple products i think yeah <laughs> apple users <laughs> yeah i think the yeah android users is really more of a tito thing <laughs> <laughs> which yeah unfortunately i'm an android user so i'll have to make do with bluetooth with a vwt cross but if you are a millennial with an apple phone an iphone then you have no problem yeah no problem no problem with connectivity at all okay and finally uh, another another thing about the t-cross is uh, it's uh, your value for money yeah i mean like yeah would you know how much the srp of this thing is i heard a while ago they said it's one million three hundred forty thousand yeah i think that's yeah. about right yeah yeah but the interesting thing about that is i think the service intervals they said that yes. it's either once a year or yes. ten thousand which whichever, whichever happens happens. first right yeah. so if you think about it that saved you a lot that's that saved you a lot of once money. a year maintenance intervals yeah but it's not just the, the savings in terms of money but also the time the hassle yeah i mean it's not diba? easy to oh. take like half your day out to get your car exactly surfaced. i mean you know most millennials have really busy schedules they don't want to take a chunk of their time just to go to the shop and yeah. have their car service yeah so imagine if you have to do that like but twice. if you're a millennial you should you should yeah well, you should yeah <laughs> you yeah. should uh, you should we're not saying don't we're saying you should yes <laughs> guys this is yeah this is a big and good advice yeah. coming from pablo yeah please follow your vehicle's maintenance <laughs> intervals yeah yeah we're not yes. saying the t-cross can last forever no car can last forever without the service so you should not even a toyota no 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 no, no. <laughs> no car no, no car. brand yeah no all car. cars need to be serviced so they all need to be serviced. always do that so yeah again it's good that at least if you At get this one's once a year once a year once every a year ten thousand yeah but you know if you, some of you might think that one million three hundred forty thousand philippine pesos for a subcompact crossover it's kind of on the pricey side but we have to also keep in mind this is a, a volkswagen it's a vw yeah is that how you pronounce it volkswagen well or volkswagen volkswagen or volkswagen i think we're not saying the wrong thing the one yeah, yeah. I, let's but just go let's with just VW. say VW, para safe. Then. Para safe, okay. yes. VW. Yeah. So, yeah. This function is not supported now. See, it's so really... Now it's talking to us. It's really high tech. It's talking to us now. Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, Sorry. Cancel. Cancel. All right. Okay. <laughs> I think because we said VW or oh, Volkswagen. Volkswagen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the car is listening to us. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. that's good. It has voice command, I think. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's a VW. It's a German brand. Mm -hmm. So... In terms of uh, value, one million three hundred forty thousand pesos for a subcompact crossover from a German brand is actually pretty good. A German brand that's been around for a really long for, time. Yeah, even yeah. way before I was born. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah, but the right? yeah, I mean, it is. It, it is. You have the heritage, the the pres prestige. The, the, quote yeah, unquote. Yeah. I mean, you know, but it yeah. is. It yeah. is. Uh, biggest or second yeah, biggest car it, maker in the world i think it's still the biggest yeah. car maker in the world now and they own they own almost Lamborghini, everything <laughs> porsche yeah pretty yeah, much they almost own everything but yeah. yeah 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 so there you have it guys uh, those are some of the reasons why the vw t-cross is really quite an ideal vehicle for the mobile millennial out there but now we are going to switch places because i'm going to share with you why uh, if you're a Tito of Manila like me, that you may have to think twice before uh, picking up a VW T-Cross. So that's going to happen right about now. Alright guys, it's now your resident Tito of Manila driving behind the wheel of the VW T-Cross. And uh, in this segment, I'm just going to share with you just a couple of reasons why if you are at my age, right? Like you're at Tito of Manila, uh, yeah, you would think uh, really well and hard. Uh, before you consider the VW T-Cross. And for me, primarily the, the main reason is the way it looks. Now it's a great looking car, but it's just too loud. And I find it has, it has a personality, bro, but it's, it has too much personality. I, I, oh, I like it. But then again, we're talking about yeah, our age Yeah, your, your age group. Our but age group. We, they might want. Yeah, a Tito might want this. 
Yeah, you know, there are maybe those who are in their midlife crisis yeah. already. <laughs> yeah, but seriously, I mean, most titos of Manila would prefer like silver or mm, white cars, true. you know, true. something that blends more yeah. uh, with the crowd. Yeah. And, and this thing just stands out and it's it's great. If your personality is like that, then by all means, yeah. knock yourself out. Yeah. The second reason is, yeah, it's a 1.5 liter uh, four-cylinder naturally aspirated engine. It's got around 100, 13, 13 I think. 113 13. horsepower, 145 newton meters of torque. Yeah, so it's kind of, um, I find a little bit, um, it's not as quick as I want it to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, most of us Titos of Manila, uh, we, we're always in a hurry. You know, we're in a hurry to take the kids to school, uh, to run the errands for the wife, um, go to the next drinking joint with your buddies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we would like to have a car that's a little bit you know, quicker uh, mm -hmm. on its feet. So that's another thing. And the last one is, yeah, it doesn't have Android Auto. No. It doesn't. It doesn't, surprisingly. Yeah, so it's not really, you know, it's not complete. Uh, so it just... <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, it's the thought of it not having Android Auto yeah. is the problem. Because yes. if you're a Tito, but when mm -hmm. you go to the dealership, I'm not, I'm assuming on behalf of yes, your yes. kind. Go, go ahead. But uh, your kind. Talaga. Yeah, when you go to the dealership and you're a Tito, but you expect to buy something complete. Complete. Yes. Complete. So when they tell you, ah, sir, sorry, there's no Android Auto, then as a Tito, it's like, what? I. 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 So. I'll just go get something that has. That has. I mean, yeah, yeah. just the mindset, lah. Yeah, but and yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe uh, iPhones are really more for the younger crowd. I don't know because I'm I'm a Tito. I'm, but, I'm using Android. Like again, if a good side is if you're a Tito, mm -hmm. maybe it doesn't matter to you That's because also, it still uh, has Bluetooth yes. and you know all those things. It has other connectivity features. So. Maybe, or maybe not. Maybe it's just yeah. The, yeah, it's just the the thought. Yeah, that it's, it's just not the thought complete. that it's not complete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, there you go. Yeah. All right, guys. So there you have it. Uh, those were just some of our thoughts about the VW T Cross. Why it's a great vehicle for millennials like Pablo, and uh, yeah, why it it could be good also for some Titos of yeah. Manila out there who prefer the loud personality of the car. Yeah. But yeah. Dude, thank you so much for this impromptu guesting in my channel. <laughs> uh, yeah. You're so lucky they paired you with the millennial. I don't think the other cars got that. I'm just kidding. No, yeah. thank no, thank you for you know including me in the video. Yeah, yeah, and I'm, we're happy yeah. to have you, Pablo. Guys, if you haven't already, if you made this it, made it this far and you haven't already, subscribe to Yuga Tech and, and Yuga Auto. Auto. Yes, thank you. Yes, guys, and see Pablo there. Look at him; he's so handsome. <laughs> All right, so guys. That's it for today. I'll see you again in my next video. Thanks for watching.